Hello everybody and welcome back to the Online Marketing Academy. My name is Mick Sayre and today we're talking about online security and identity theft. Well, online the robbers want to pinch your hard earned cash and obviously we don't want them to do that. So how can we stop them? Well, it's relatively easy for the robbers to steal your cash if you give them the keys to your bank account. So how do we avoid doing that? The banks obviously need you to give them lots of security details which include your full name, full address, home telephone number, date of birth, security questions and of course passwords. So today as social media is growing in popularity and more and more of us get online, more and more of us are worried about having our identities stolen. So how do we avoid that? We avoid that by uh, making sure that the details that we give in online marketing platforms and in social media platforms um, is is edited in some kind of way to make sure that we're not giving the identity thieves all of the information that they would need to break into our bank accounts. So for instance many of us have a middle name or a double barreled name. When in social media do you actually need to enter your middle name for instance? So I have a middle name but I never use that when I'm uh, entering my details into social platforms. The banks need your full address. So for instance if your address is number two at Back Garden Drive then in social media platforms leave out the number or possibly add the letter A so it becomes number two A Back Garden Drive. The banks require a main telephone number. So when working in social media platforms again only give your mobile and your telephone number if you feel the need to give a number at all. Date of birth is something that uh, all banks will ask you for on security questions. So when entering your date of birth online lie about your age and I'll show you how to do that uh, a little later on. And then of course security questions. Security questions are often things like your mother's maiden name or your first, the name of your first pet. So avoid writing blogs that will uh, contain this information. Uh, again, when working in social media and anywhere online, try to use different passwords for each account that you log into. I know this is difficult, but it's quite important that you do that. Okay, so let's take Facebook as an example. How do we protect our identity whilst working in Facebook? Well, this is one way that you can do that. Log into your Facebook account this is my Facebook account and then go to your profile when the page loads come down to the middle left hand side of the Facebook page and click edit profile in this area we give lots of information uh, that would be relevant to the uh, security thieves to the identity thieves so for instance here is my date of birth the 10th of April 1967. Well, that's actually not my date of birth. My date of birth is something different to that. So what I do is, I simply lie about my age on Facebook and in other social media platforms. In this way, that's one vital piece of information that the identity thieves cannot steal. And then of course in Facebook and other platforms you can decide not to show your birthday or date of birth, birth inside the platform as well. So providing that you follow these measures and make sure that you just change slightly your security details whilst working in social media you should be perfectly safe. And don't forget of course to save changes before you uh, exit uh, this page. Then of course you're very safe and uh, you should be keeping your money in your account and not that of the thieves. Thanks very much, that's Mick from the Online Marketing Academy and we'll speak to you again very soon.